On the bench today, I have the Nikon One Touch that I've picked up recently, and it has some problems in that it doesn't work. I don't know if you can see it here, but the film counter window is stuck at a number, and there is no film in it. We can go open her up. It's empty, so the film counter window does not reset when the door is opened. And it will not actually, the shutter will not actuate when you power it on. So let me put some batteries in it. And, and I just had batteries in it a few minutes ago. But if we're lucky, the flash should have discharged and we might hear it charge up. So it takes double A's. Make sure they're in the right order. Okay, let's see if we can hear the flash charge up. Maybe it's only when you turn it on. No, it must have charge already. Okay, well, it's on the on position. Batteries are in it, and... Nothing. The button is stuck. So let me, I haven't tried this. I don't know if it needs film to work. Maybe that's the key. So let's put some film in it. Maybe it has to read the DX code. Nope, it doesn't, it doesn't wind it. It's like it's not getting power. Okay. I think I, what I want to do first is where's the one? Is the camera is my camcorder focusing? I guess it is. First what I want to do is measure its current draw. That'll actually be easy to do with the batteries in. Let me get a meter. See if the polarizing filter helps with that. I think it's hurting it. Okay, let's measure the current draw. Well, we might want to be in amps. I'm not sure how much it'll draw to begin with. We'll put it on the on position and just connect the two batteries together. Something is really wrong with this this thing. It's not drawing any power. All right. And the 
contacts down and they look clean, so it should be making contact with it. I had the batteries in the right way. they were in wrong. Nope. Okay. Well, that's not good. Let's take it apart and see what is wrong. Let's see how to get into this. First off, I want to see if that... I don't know if you can see the film counter window. It's at 26. If that can be re reset. It should be... I guess not. Well, let's just take it apart and we'll get over from there. First off can we take off? There's screws along the bottom, side, and side here. So that's what I'm going to go for first. longer. I'll have to remember that. I'm not really concerned. This camera feels cheap. I don't know if I'd want to use it. I'm not a fan of point and shoots. I don't see the craze. Oh, that really... Okay. Ah, here's another one. Whole back must come off. And we had a screw over here. And that is everything. There's not one hiding. Hopefully, there's nothing. Oh. Well, if we have to, there might be screws hiding under those grips. This seems to want to come off. Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay. What about the bottom? No, that plastic is all part of the front plate. So let's... Well, I bet the sneaky... Nope, nothing under there. Thought maybe they were sneaky and put screws under the grips. 
Nope. Let's put that back. Maybe that'll stay. Okay. See if I can get that back on too, just so I don't have stickiness. No, that's all right. I see a screw down there. Let's try. There's a screw hole down there. Maybe the front is held on with that. I thought there was. Yes. Got it. little tiny one. Okay, maybe the front is held on. Yes! Oh, very beautiful. Look at that. the shutter button. I have to say that shutter button is very ugh, mushy. But this is this is really nice. So that's a switch. And when you turn open the cover, it's going to connect it on. So Maybe the contacts are dirty. The switch goes to this side. They're gold plated so they don't look dirty. And see they have high resistance. No, they seem to be fine. There's all these electrolytics. Maybe they have gone bad. Whew, those are tiny. Here's how the flash pops up. set the aperture. And that's how it reads the aperture. See there's all these little solenoids that might have gone bad. That's the, I think the light sensor. Let's 
let's see if we can get the film the film door off. Nope. That would be nice. Oh, maybe maybe loosening those screws. do anything. There's a hinge. I'd have to push it up. Uh, we might we might put that back just so it doesn't get lost. Oh, I think I see something with the Film counter? Let me get a pointer. This wheel here is is crooked. Well that's how it Looks like a drive. It's not. Uh, let's worry about getting it to run first, I guess. I was hoping to get into the battery compartment and turning it on. Here's how the flash pops up. There we go. Maybe I can take the flash off. How does the battery compartment come apart? That's not a molding line. It doesn't. Here's some contacts. Maybe one of those is power. Let me... How does this come off? Let's take that off. See if the flash comes off. No, that doesn't help me. Put 
these screws back in as I go so I don't lose them. but I could so what I could do is put batteries in it and bridge them while I turn it on it's gonna start off with the contacts maybe here and then switch to here. I don't know what that one does. It must... Yeah, we can see. The battery compartment... self-closed. Oh, unless this holds it closed. Some contacts down there. 